Did you know that one person dies every 37 seconds in the United States from cardiovascular disease? That might be a scary fact, but unfortunately, it's true. Hi viewers, and welcome back to our channel. By now, we all know that for good heart health, you need to eat a healthy diet, exercise, and not smoke. But apart from this, there are little things that you might be doing every day which may be harming your heart health without you even knowing about it. In today's video, we'll tell you some surprising habits that may be hurting your heart. From having fits of rage, being stressed, spending too much time alone, not sweating, to overdoing endurance exercises and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Fits of Rage do you suffer from regular bouts of rage or intense anger at home or at work? If so, your angry temperament may be hurting more than the people around you. While moderate anger can be a good way to release tension, explosive anger or chronic bouts of rage can increase your risk of heart disease. A study found that among people with normal blood pressure, those who were the angriest had almost twice the risk of coronary artery disease and three times the risk of heart attack when compared to those with the lowest levels of anger. Researchers note that while anger can harm your heart, anxiety and other negative emotions probably also play a role. Anger and anxiety have been shown to increase blood pressure, disrupt the electrical pulses of the heart, and possibly speed up the fatty buildup in your arteries. Number 2. Not sleeping well our demanding lifestyles often make us consider that sleep is a luxury. A good night's sleep boosts your energy levels, aids the body to repair itself, and is responsible for helping you function normally throughout the day. If you are sleep deprived, your blood pressure stays higher and this amounts to heart diseases. Moreover, the lack of sleep increases your chances of developing obesity and type 2 diabetes, which can also lead to heart problems. How is this video working out for you till now? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more interesting stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Number 3. You don't floss regularly you may think that regular flossing only helps your pearly whites stay in tip-top shape, but research shows that dental disease and heart disease are correlated. Researchers believe that inflammation from gum disease allows bacteria to enter your mouth's blood vessels, travel into the coronary artery vessels, and narrow their passages. This reduces blood flow, which hurts the heart. In fact, people with coronary artery disease are 38% more likely to also have gum disease. Number 4. Sitting and watching too much television you may be physically active for a short while, but if you love sitting for hours and watching TV, you're giving an open invitation to stroke or heart attack. When you sit for long hours without moving, your blood thickens, causing your heart to work harder. This thickened blood can increase the chances of stroke or heart attack. There's no harm in watching television as long as you make it a point to get up and walk around at least twice an hour. You can even use commercial breaks to do a little bit of cardio to keep your heart healthy. Number 5. Getting Overly Stressed when you're stressed out, your body releases cortisol, which is the stress hormone, and adrenaline. Your body goes into fight-or-flight mode that increases heart rate and blood pressure. If you're constantly stressed out, this constant state of elevated heart rate and blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in your heart. This would increase your chances of getting a stroke or heart attack. It is advisable to take up yoga or practice deep breathing exercises to de-stress yourself each time you find your stress levels increasing. Number 6. Ignoring the Snoring in some cases, snoring may be more than just a minor nuisance. In fact, snoring can be a sign of obstructed sleep apnea, a disorder that is marked by interrupted breathing during sleep, which can cause blood pressure to skyrocket. And while people who are overweight or obese are at a higher risk for sleep apnea, slim people may have it too. Number 7. You're not sweating Heavy metals like mercury and lead are particularly damaging to the heart and arteries. Unfortunately, you may be ingesting them without realizing it. A practice of sweating by regular exercise or hanging out in an infrared sauna can help eliminate them efficiently, according to many studies. Number 8. Spending too much time alone Having friends is not only important to your happiness, but the friendships you make may actually help your heart in the long run. According to a study, social isolation can significantly increase a person's risk of developing heart disease. Those who reported poor social relationships had a 29% greater chance of having coronary heart disease than those with healthier ones. 9. Overdoing your endurance exercise while regular endurance exercise can be good for your heart health, it's possible to have too much of this good thing. Some studies have shown that long-term, excessive endurance exercise may damage your heart and arteries. Regularly competing in marathons, ultramarathons, and long-distance triathlons can stress the heart muscle too much. For some people, this can lead to scarring and thickening of their heart walls. When this happens, you're more at risk for heart rhythm problems and heart diseases. Number 10. You live or work in an area with polluted air. You probably know that smog is linked with respiratory problems and lung disease, but we bet you didn't know that breathing in smoggy air can cause hardening of your arteries over a long term. A study found that the longer healthy men and women in Los Angeles were exposed to polluted air with fine particulate matter, the thicker their carotid arteries became. 
The carotid artery carries blood from the heart to the head and neck, and a thickening of this artery over time is a major risk factor for fatal heart attacks and strokes. Other studies have also confirmed smogs linked to heart problems. Number 11. You commute to work in a car. Yes, a stressful commute can cause harm to your heart. Even if your trip is only for a few minutes a day, if it's making you have physical adverse reactions, such as an increased heart rate, it's not doing anything good for your heart. A long commute requires a lot of sitting, which, as we said earlier, is bad for heart health. Studies have shown associations between walking or cycling to work and heart health. Both the activities result in a reduced risk of heart disease. Long and stressful commutes that require long periods of sitting, on the other hand, can increase risks for heart disease and overall poor heart health. If possible, try to bike or walk to work and skip the stressful commute altogether. If you have to drive, relieve the stress of traffic by listening to a meditation podcast or soothing music. Number 12. You have excess midsection weight. If you carry excessive weight around your midsection, it can increase your risk for heart disease. There are many studies showing that unfavorable weight to hip ratio is highly associated with diabetes and heart disease risk. A study found that women who carried more weight around their midsections were 10 to 20% more likely to suffer heart attacks than women who were generally overweight. Men with beer bellies had 6% increased risk of suffering from a heart attack than average or generally overweight men. Number 13. You are around loud noises constantly. Former rock stars and jackhammer operators take note. Prolonged exposure to high decibel noise like the racket from construction, live music, or traffic has also been linked to heart risk. According to a study, people with high-frequency hearing loss in both ears, a condition that commonly occurs due to noise-related damage, had nearly twice the risk of heart disease as those with normal hearing. For those with noisy occupations, think factory or construction worker, this risk quadrupled. Researchers aren't completely sure why, but believe a constant noise could spark an overdose of damaging stress hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. Number 14. You have an all-or-nothing mentality. You may dive into exercising with good intentions, then suddenly stop exercising altogether. Rather than having an all-or-nothing approach, it is more important to commit to regular exercise and be in it for the long run. Number 15. You don't work on spinal flexibility. Yoga offers many benefits, but one of the most powerful is spinal flexibility. Unknown to most are studies suggesting that flexibility of the spine correlates to flexibility of important arteries in the body. In other words, spinal flexibility is one sign of a healthy heart. Number 16. You put off going to the doctor. Access to quality healthcare is an important factor for heart health, but you have to take advantage of it. That means always going to the doctor when you have an unusual symptom and updating your medical records when your family history changes. Women should also be sure to alert their doctors to any changes in their menstrual periods, as certain conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome can increase the risk of heart disease. In addition, regular checkups and annual blood work can help you to better monitor medications and help you track your weight, cholesterol, blood pressure, and other important heart health markers. Do you have regular heart checkups? Which of these bad habits do you have? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.